Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. See anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. <laughs> Jody, you okay? her music box. Laura. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you gonna wait for Nathan? What's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents, the agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. I don't understand. Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I'm begging you, Nathan. Please don't let them take me away. Hey, Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand. This is a great opportunity for you. Oh, so that's just it? You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Go get my things. <laughs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry.
See you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. It's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Okay, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. The trash can in the kitchen.
I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Pizza. I mean, it's, it's the easy way out, but he's not gonna mind. Yeah, I'll call him. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Oh, good God, I know the number by heart. Hey, yeah, um, could I get a large pizza? The, um, Super Supreme? Um, like eight, eight fifteen. Yeah. Uh, 6192 Columbus Street. Yeah, the ninth floor. Okay, cool. Great, thanks. Too proud of myself, but at least we're gonna eat.
crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! I've got to change. What should I wear? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. Hot. He is gonna see a whole new side of me. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Coming! Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on! Open up! Too. All right, books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Great. <sighs> Chill out, Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. Pain in the ass. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it.
I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Now my parents and brothers still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? It, it's nothing. It's just... Aiden's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. You know, looked for the action, travel, adventure. <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. You keep the change. Thanks. I ordered pizza. I I, I, I hope that's... No, pizza's good. Don't sweat it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know almost nothing about you. I mean... There's nothing much to say, you know. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and, well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest, so. You know, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't, I'm, I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up, more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. 
Yeah. Did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. listening to us yeah yeah he never leaves me uh, what about you do you have do you have any family here no no my uh, my parents are still in Oregon go to see them as little as possible <laughs> and are you um are you married or anything no no but, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for other two years. And, uh, you know, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so... I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Hey, Aiden. Thank you. 